Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Zulu Entertainment, and welcome back to Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival Episode 23. Where today we have a huge project to do, which is gonna involve a huge time lapse, but it's quite far away from here. Actually, not that far away, but decently far. So I thought I'd show you some stuff that's happening over downside first. As you can see, I've got a stack of melons in my inventory. That's because that's what my diet consists of, because I'm starting to run out of chicken. I'm gonna have to restart, make mother clucker soon. Uh, actually, I'm not super running out, just I prefer the melons. But I, all the melons that I have are from the storage over there from before I had the melon farm because I've been saving to count up how many melons I've gone in the past week. I've only AFK'd like three days this week, I believe, so about uh, 25-ish hours, probably uh, almost 30 hours, but let's see. I've gotten a bit over two stacks of pumpkins, that's sweet, and I've got a bunch of melons. So as you can see, after about 30 hours of uh, working, uh, well, AFKing, not working. I haven't gotten a massive amount, but that's not the point of the farm. It's not, the point isn't to mass produce, because I don't want to have, uh, go overboard like what happened with, uh, the cactus farm. Uh, and the second thing, it actually, as you may know, uh, this house that I always pop up into, it's based on Craner's house from the original, uh, his original house in the Crunny Craft series. So, I uh, decided to make it more Craner themed. Da 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 da. And to the house, I've added the Craner style. Cobble Killer! Hooray! Now, Craner will love this house. You just flick the switch and it throws the cobblestone into the fiery depths of destruction. And it's made specifically for Craner because this is Craner's house. And so it's a cobble killer and I've loaded it up with tons of cobble. So if Craner ever comes and does a collab with me, which will never happen, uh, yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, but I'll show you what's up with the melon farm. I told you I had to get it so that it wouldn't trigger all day. The trick is I made the wire really long. This wire right here is 15, I, I believe, 15 blocks long, so when it gets up to here, it has a very low signal. But then it hits the repeater and powers all the pistons. That means it, power, it powers the pistons only when it's gotten this much, enough energy to go all the way up this wire, which is almost around midnight. So now, none of the pistons are active unless it's about midnight. Uh, oh dang it. I don't know why this happened. Uh, I believe I, I had a chicken in here earlier, so the chicken might have stamped on my seeds. But I'm gonna have to fix that. That's pretty upsetting. Is the one over in this corner okay? No, that one's gone also. I think chickens are getting in here and ruining it, and the pistons are killing them. Uh, which is good because the pistons are killing the chickens that are screwing up my machine. But it works pretty well. If you set it to daytime, I'll show you. Uh, boo. Uh, do not. Uh, since it's not full a midday yet, it's after midday. It didn't activate right there. Oops, I'm getting a little bit hot. But, uh, to the big project of today, we have a special project inspired by one of my favorite Minecraft Let's Players of all time, Zadaf Plays. I highly suggest him. He's one of the best Minecraft Let's Player le players of them all, and definitely the most underrated Minecraft Let's Player. He only has 30k, no, 13k subscribers. He is very, very underrated. Uh, and that's pretty, yeah. Uh, but he built something in his most recent episode. Actually, by the time I actually release this episode, he'll probably have made uh, one new episode because he posts weekly and I post weekly. But it has to do with this big square over here. And no, I'm not making a second Project Iron Sunk, but now that you mention it, I might have to make a Project Gold Sunk someday. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, we're almost ready to get started. Uh, I think I have a bed with me because this is going to be a long project. So I might just place the bed wall uh, right now, not wait for tonight because I was going to... Now that I see the sun is down, my original thought a few seconds ago was uh, go to sleep, then go do the project. But since I have a bed with me, I'm not going to waste your time doing that. Uh, so here it is. I have mined out an entire chunk and you may recognize this chunk from the very beginning of the series as the chunk that we our spaceship crash landed in, which of course is the world spawn chunk. So uh, let's put down a bed. 
Huh? And a torch right next to the bed to keep us from dying. Uh, it's not night yet. But, uh, you can't see what the signs say down uh, yet, but it all will be explained in due time. This is a project, if you watch Zadaf plays, which uh, is kind of unlikely because he only has 13k subs. But if you watch him, you'll know what I'm making. And the answer is we are making a calendar. Uh, as you can see, we have these enabled all 1 to 31, and they're all good and dandy like that. So what's going to happen is we're going to build a calendar. It's going to count all the days of the month and all the months of the year, and it's going to have a year counter, and that's how it's going to work. And it's going to be pretty freaking sweet, and so that's how it's going to work. Uh, so I can't really... This is a pretty big and complicated project, which shall take quite a while. And if you know me, you know exactly what that means. Of course, we're going to be having, presented by 99 Lives, we're going to have another time lapse of me building this freaking calendar. Ready, set, go! Well, that's how we've gotten it so far. We're not quite yet complete. I've run to a few snags. And the problem is it's really hard to concentrate on this kind of stuff while you're on camera and stuff. And I need to watch the video to get the other parts done. And I need to add the months and the year parts. So what I'm thinking is I just, uh, I'm probably going to do the rest off camera. And I'll catch you in a few minutes to play it will to start January the 1st. So I'll see you there in a second. Tomorrow. 
And we are back. It's been actually about 24 hours since I recorded that first part. And as you can see, the thing is complete, but it is completely broken. So as you can see, the days are just going along crazily. And uh, so I've got the whole thing built. As you can see, I tried to keep it confined to one chunk, but I figured out that that was pretty much impossible. So I split it up into being in all the chunks around this area. So... It's done, but as you can see, the days are just going along wildly, and that's because of part of Zadaf's design. Now, what happened is he had it at a daylight sensor, and I've set this so that the cord is fifth, like 16 blocks long, meaning it's the maximum length. So, as you can see, it's November. I've got the whole thing working. This took forever, but the problem is it's not just 16 for one tick a day, and I think Zadaf's going to realize this because it seems that he didn't quite turn it on the first video, but as you can see, it's going to go, and then it's going to see December. Yes, wait. Oh, my gosh, it went down. Uh, oh, yes, I know why that is. Because uh, another problem with this is because once a month, uh, let me just run over here. Once a month, when it goes past the 31st, it, re it goes into this redstone sensor. Well, let me just explain the entire thing to you. Okay, so there's a uh, item that goes around these hoppers, and whenever it goes to a piston, it lowers it, showing you the day. For example, uh, as you can see, it says the 23rd right there. And it's all powered because of the redstone I have down here that uh, hits these torches, and it shuts down the machine. Uh, for like a full tutorial thing like this, go check out Zadaf Play's video, except I'm going to address one thing he didn't address. Uh... Uh, one of his systems got a lot of flaws that I hope he's going to fix in the future. But, uh, yeah, and uh, every month it hits this special redstone comparator that triggers this tower of redstone torches. And what that tower does is, don't mind this redstone I'm walking on, this is a completely different thing. Well, when it's done, it hits this, which deactivates these, which allows the item to move forward in the months. The problem is that Zadaf didn't seem to anticipate was the fact that when that uh, comparator goes off, it goes off for more than one tick. So instead of going ahead one month, it goes ahead two or three months, which really sucks. So uh, that I assume he's going to figure out uh, maybe he did something wrong with the machine, and, or maybe I did. If it's my problem, I'll find it out whenever he does another world download. If it's his problem, he'll address it in a future video. But these other redstone lines, well, one might be asking, uh, what, uh, what about different amounts of days in a month? For example, Mar uh, February only has 28 days, March has uh, 30 days, has some paper, uh, March has 31 days. So, as you can see, there are three, well, two different wires here. There is the white wire and the orange wire. So the white wire is triggered when any of the months with 31 days happen. So January, March, May, June, July, September, and no, October and December. So all the days with 31 months triggers the white wire, which goes along this path which leads down here and triggers those white blocks. We'll get back to that in a second. Uh, and the orange ones are for ones that have only 30 days in it. As you can see, February has neither. Uh, and it leads down into this. On top of this, there is a redstone line. Uh, let me give you a better look see do over here. Did I break anything? No, I did not break anything. Uh, but all the redstone gets powered by these orange blocks because a signal goes into them. It's all complicated and stuff. But what this does is it powers the orange line. Now what this does is it powers these pistons to go down. And as you know, these pistons lock the item inside whenever there's a redstone signal in there. That's how I keep an item in here for the entire day. So if this day was down, that meant there was an item stuck in this hopper. But I have the redstone signal only going to these hoppers and not this guy right here, any of these three, which is this is the 29th, the 30th, and the 31st. Uh, so, what that does is, oops, I don't want to fall down that hole. Actually, I should put a cobblestone there because I'm going to end up falling down there and that's not going to be good. So, the redstone goes into this. And as you can see, these pistons go down. Now that the orange line is on, that means that the 29th and the 30th is powered, but the 31st isn't. So, if it was a month of 31 days, all three of these blocks would be powered, powering all three of these pistons 
causing that block to go down. And uh, the th 29th, 30th, and 31st would all be powered. So that's how that machine works. And it, I have the 29th because then February will only have 28 days. Zayd have to do a 29th, but he said in the comments that he's probably going to make a leap year system, which is probably going to overload my mind. Uh, but that's pretty much how it works. So as I've said, the complaints like when the month thing triggers, I don't know what I'm doing, but it goes for multiple ticks, meaning instead of uh, proceeding one month, the uh, item goes ahead three months, which is super annoying. Uh, and uh, the day thing, as you can see, it stays at maximum brightness in the day for about two minutes, meaning I usually end up getting in one day about two years. So it's all about the timing that's screwed up. But the most important part is how many years we've been here. So once a year, it'll go into this hopper, which will power this, uh, this redstone thingy, which powers this repeater, which hits this repeater, which turns off this torch, which deactivates the redstone on this, allowing the years we have in here to transfer into this chest. And so far, it says we've been in this uh, Minecraft world for four years, but that's because, as I've said, when the comparator activates, it actually uh, is more than one tick, so that causes multiple items to go through. I don't know if this is different in uh, Zadaf's world. Maybe there's a setting to change uh, like how long the ticks go, because that's not good and it's just screwing up the machine but I've been working on this device for probably three or four hours and I've gone through two or three stacks of melons just eating while working on this thing I'm tired I, it, I, I've i done everything exactly how Zadaf did it but it still has some bugs probably Zadaf will fix it will either tell us uh, like either I did something wrong in that case. I'll learn it and what I did wrong when he makes a new world download. Or he'll address it in a future video. I'm not sure. It's just weird. But that's pretty much all I have to say. I had a lot of fun building this. It's sad that the timing's not right. I'm going to do some Minecraft research. Try and find a way to get it to only last for one tick. I'm not sure if that's possible. But I'm, going to st I'm just going to research and test. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. I used a lot of iron blocks. I plan on putting some clay and stuff in the build. I plan on having a big border around here. But as you can see, according to the flawed system, it is currently the uh, June the 17th. So the system does what it's supposed to do. Just it's not at all in sync with the time it's supposed to sew. But overall, I think it's a pretty nice build. I got it on the map. It's all pretty... Right, that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode. Uh, this is an insane build to build. I literally have like uh, half a stack of redstone left. I've used so much redstone in this experiment right here. This is a bit ridiculous, but yeah, you win some, you lose some. I'll figure out how to make this thing work eventually. I was hoping to get January the 1st started today so the Minecraft calendar could start counting accurately, but that's not going to be possible today. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribe to join the Axel Empire. I had fun doing this. Go check out Zadaf Plays video to have a pretty much entire, uh, like, uh, tutorial on this, basically. I got all of this device that I made from videos, except the one thing that I actually barely sewed any of that I had to mostly guess was the piston day system because uh, it was like he pointed at us but he never showed us the mechanisms behind it so like in the corner of his eye I could kind of see the edge and I kind of uh, halfway just made up that system over there but it worked just perfectly so that's pr I'm pretty sure it does because it actually skips multiple days it's really annoying uh, but yeah till next time I'm Axel from Axel Zuli Entertainment hey Goodbye!